Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 7th of August. Now, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit those like buttons, guys. That helps me a lot. And we'll get started, and we'll see what comes up. I'm getting it for these people waking up. They're going to be unforgiving towards their government and their media. People know there's an off fish and when you think about off fish or off seafood it leaves a very very pugnant and bad odor um it's like when you put seafood in your rubbish bin and it stays out in the hot sun and the garbage doesn't get picked up for a week that's what people are smelling they're smelling rotten to the core and that's around government and parliamentary leaders this is the people waking up they're smelling it now something's off hmm we know what's off, all right. Um, hang on, bear with me. People are feeling so disturbed now. I said that yesterday, but they're feeling so disturbed that um, like media, government could lie to them. They can't believe it. To the core of their being, they're finding it hard to understand the, um, oh, the gravity and the enormity of this agenda. It's very hard for them to understand. And we know that, if you're here on my channel, we know this is a very, very complex event that we're currently going through. It's not just a black and white thing. There's, there's a lot that even lies under the surface that we're not even aware of here on my channel. So these people waking up, they're being very, very disturbed now because they know something is off. And this is great. We need them to know something is off. Um, let's see where we go. Now this is for you if you're watching my channel. They're showing us that we've gone, Chris you'll love this out there, we've gone for a bushwalk and we're sort of all together and this is the people who are already awake. We've gone for a bushwalk and we've taken ourselves through this like rainforest and it's showing me that we've come to this beautiful little tiny waterfall and it's a great big like rock pool. And we're all sitting around and we're relaxed on the edges and we're away from all this madness and chaos and we're in this really peaceful tranquil place and and that's what the guides are showing me we've found this little sanctuary you could say that we've removed ourselves um so far away that we've found this little sanctuary and they're showing us like splashing in the water and just sitting in the sun on the rocks and it's just a really still beautiful calm day and that's the energy that we're now feeling we've found this we've gone for this beautiful um bushwalk sort of through the rainforest and we found this gorgeous little peaceful rock pool and we're all just sitting and relaxing and that's you if you're watching my channel and I think we could all agree that we've found this kind of inner peace and sense of calm and that's the image they're giving me today for us so we need to stay there so this is just a vision that I have in my mind of the the state that we're currently in and this is a really great place to be um, we fought our battles a long time ago, so now we're having our downtime, you could say. But we have just met, found this way to remove ourselves virtually from, I guess you could say, the garbage, the off garbage with the seafood, fish, prawns, whatever you want, that have been out in the sun stinking. Um, we found a way <clears throat> away from that. Um, Oh, they're showing me our rubbish bins have got like the nice fresh pino clean and all the eucalyptus smells we've hosed our garbage bins out and our garbage bins are like over here on the street and they're clean and they're fresh <laughs> if there's such a thing as a clean fresh garbage bin but this is kind of the image that I'm getting but these people waking up and now they know and they're smelling and I always talk about scent opening up their senses during the awakening process they're smelling that this is off something is off and that's great we need them to know something's off hang on let's we'll see where else we go with this today oh, i'm getting it the tide is turning <gasps> this is great these people that have been waking up i've talked about it a lot here on my channel they've been getting knocked over like castaways wave after wave after wave from the government but now and the guides are saying oh my god it's <laughs> This is happening. The tide is turning. 
They're making my chest all open and they're really excited and the guides are saying that the tide is turning, meaning the waves are coming back on government. They're getting, people are standing up and they're pushing back against government and it's not us. It's the people waking up, they're realising that something's happening. And I said yesterday, sorry guys, I just got tight the chest, I couldn't breathe then. Because the guides are so elated, they're elated for us. It's happening. The tide has turned. It's going back on the government. These people are standing up now. These people waking up have found that street. And they're standing up and they're going to stand up en masse. I keep talking about it and I'm really sure it's going to happen at the end of August and maybe into September. People are standing up now. They've found their strength. The castaways that have been getting knocked over wave after wave by government with all the crap they've been putting on them, they've finally got their courage now and they're going to stand up. They're uniting together and they're standing up because they know something's off and they, they know that they have to fight back or they're going to lose everything. So the tide has turned. Oh, just let me take a breath. God, that's something that we've all hoped and wished for on here for so long. I know in Canada, you guys have really waited for this to happen. Well, you need to know, and the guides are saying, you need to know this is really happening. These tears are joy. They're not sadness. They're elation. The guides are so elated for us that finally we're sort of not on our own over here now. These people are rising up against their governments. This is happening. Oh, let me get my breath. I can't believe this is happening. God, we thought that day would never come, but the tide is turning. I talked the other day about some of these um, parliamentary leaders and government people in power, were, um, some are gonna be knocked off their pedestals. And it's gonna cause those towers, those elite towers to collapse. Well, it's starting to happen. Things are starting to collapse. <laughs> collapse because people are seeing through the garbage oh i'm getting my breath back guys sorry they just ah <laughs> my chest got so overwhelmed i could hardly speak i know you guys understand because we've been really fighting this fight for a long time and to have any win or any other people standing up behind us i said they were coming behind us the other day well they're coming because they've managed to turn the tide and the tide's going back on government now i've been saying here for a couple of weeks that you have to remember that these rollouts and the reset and everything they're implementing, renewables, all the garbage they're trying to just pour onto people, it hasn't gone to plan. It hasn't come along smoothly like this, that, this, that. Because like I said, everyone was trying to do this one global agenda, but everyone was sort of putting things out at different times and then it became all confusing. And then people were waking up because they wondered what was happening. Hang on, what happened in Canada and what happened here and what's happening? Why is China buying all the islands up? And this this started to create a lot of confusion and chaos in the people waking up. Now, I always talk about them here, having done their crime investigation board, they've had to do a lot of investigating. Who's BlackRock? Who's Bill Gates? Why is this connected to that? Who Who's invested in Big Pharma? These people waking up have been doing their investigations. Not probably as much as we have. <laughs> I always talk about um, that joke about conspiracy theorists digging for the truth and we've got, you know, the big bulldozer and we've dug a John Normick quarry, whereas the people waking up were just starting with their little garden <laughs> tools and then they started digging with a shovel. Well, now they've got the big, um, is it backhoe? And they're digging deeper now. These people waking up are digging deeper because they know they're being fed garbage and bullshit. And this is fantastic. We needed this to happen. We needed them to be the ones that did their digging and started digging deeper to find out the real truths of what's going on. And I have to say to you, I was in a shop today and I was chatting to the guy in there and he actually is a real, follows the narrative. And he said to me, Chrissy, the media is lying. I, I know now they're lying to us. I couldn't even believe it come out of his mouth. And Tim had someone the other day, my husband, someone um, said it to him last night. He went out for dinner with a mate and his mate said very similar things. Um, because there's no logic in it. They're not in the mass psychosis anymore. So they have the opportunity to dig deeper and find out the truth. Oh my God, this is huge. This is huge. 
Oh my God, you guys. Oh, okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. I was overwhelmed for a minute there, but I'm back now. Oh my God, I just get so excited when the guides give us something really positive. The tide has turned. Gosh, I don't think there's anything more to say today, is there? <laughs> well, it's, that's like music to our ears. <laughs> oh, God. We'll probably get another song from the guides today because we'd be so excited. They haven't given me one yet. Stay calm, everybody. Um, but there's definitely the tide is the tide has turned. Um, oh, people are backflipping, like, in government. Um, oh, God. Hang on, let's see what we get. It's like they're showing me, I think I talked a while ago about this eclipse energy where the, the sun and the moon, isn't it, where they, they pass each other and then things black out and then they become light again. Well, that's what these people waking up again. They've been in that darkness of the eclipse and now they're back in the light and they're starting to see things with the cartoon eyes. I talk about it all the time. I talk about the veils were lifting, um, the rose colored glasses are thrown off and these people have broken through. It's like I talked oh, months ago about them um, running out of this like train tunnel in, in darkness and they were heading towards that little speck of light right at the end and we were outside that tunnel. We were out calling them out the tunnel, trying to get their attention and tell them to come out to the light. Well, they're sprinting now and they're nearly out. A lot of these people waking up, they've got that light in sight and they are coming towards us. So, yay! Oh, this is the best news. I suppose we can't get too overexcited because we never know sometimes, but any steps forward and any people rising up is something really positive. So I'm definitely getting that image of like, it's like showing me like a mission impossible and the people are running and, and like they've got to get out of this tunnel to the light because boom, the big bomb's gonna go off behind him. Like, you know, like a mission impossible movie and you, you got to get to the light and jump out of that tunnel before the explosion. And that's what I'm getting. They're running for their life towards the light. Oh my God, this is just, this is such great news, guys. Just hang on. Let's see where else we go today. It is. There's so much going on that people can't cope. They're not going to ride this storm. People don't want to ride that storm. I talked about their little boats yesterday and they dropped their oars and they were being taken down pretty much to, as we could see, Niagara Falls, a great big waterfall. Um, so they have to abandon ship. So now a lot of these people are choosing to jump off and out of their little boat and swim to shore. Just like running out of that tunnel, they're taking off, they're moving away from government. And when people move away from government, it causes the tide to turn because they're not complying. That's what we need. We need these people not complying. Oh my God, this is great. Meanwhile, we're over here at the rock pools in the rainforest on our lovely bushwalk, Terrabella <laughs> rock pools. Um, hang on, we call, if you're new here, we do have this little saying called Terrabella, meaning our beautiful earth, that we name nearly everything. <laughs> we call everything Terrabella. Terrabella Disco, Terrabella Island, now we're at Terrabella rock pools. Um, I'll just see where else we go with this, hang on. Oh, oh my God, the guy, they can't help himself. They're giving me that David Soul song again, Don't Give Up On Us Baby. And what they're saying is, this is for us. We're not to give up on these people waking up. That That's the message with that song. I know it's a love song and all that, I get it. But what they're saying, just don't give up. Don't give up on these people waking up. I know it's very easy to kind of just turn our back and walk away and think, oh, there is no hope for these people, but there is hope for these people. Oh, it's fantastic. It's like I keep saying, they're not in the mass psychosis anymore. And when it comes to finances, boy, does that wake people up. We knew it was going to. <laughs> and if anyone <laughs> waking up happened to see the uh, <laughs> WEF's reset agenda advertisement about you'll own nothing and be happy, I'm sure that would have... Um, woken quite a few people up oh my god hang on let me see if there's anything else to close with today 
<laughs> oh my god it's showing us over here this is all of you watching my channel we've got these we're like outside i always talk about us being outside the train tunnel the darkness and we're out in the sun and in the light and we've got our like placards and we're like it's like but we're full of joy and light and fun and we've got all these placards and they're all like really positive they've got all these like positive words and positive sayings it's like um freedom make your own choices um no more wars <laughs> like that song that <laughs> bronski beat song the other day no more wars um keep the cash like there's all these sayings and we're holding all these things up and and it's bringing these people you know they're running out of that tunnel towards what they want which are the things we're carrying on our signs and we're encouraging and we're like come on not far to go you can do this and we're like clapping and we're really encouraging them now you know you've got to remember that we all planted these seeds a long long time ago and these are the th these are the having the aha moments i said they always would all those seeds that we planted and we sort of doubted that that made any difference no it made a difference because then they're having their trigger moments that are starting to wake them up because they're saying someone talked about that reset or what's with the what was that about the um klaus who and why is bill gates buying all the farms we planted all those seeds guys and now they're doing their big with their backhoes they're doing their big digging for the truth this is fantastic guys so we're over here now <laughs> with our signs um with all the positive um oh and there of course the guides are now showing me the big come to terra bella <laughs> and we've got the sign like we accept everybody here <laughs> black white gay purple aliens <laughs> we, we accept everybody um and that's what i'm getting today and i'm gonna leave you with that because look i'm a bit overwhelmed from all of this the guides have got me all overwhelmed in the chest i can hardly breathe oh i gotta take a deep breath oh the joy the joy the joy so the tide has turned fingers it keeps turning it drowns all this nonsense and floods over it like a tsunami and gets rid of all these stupid tyrants and dictators so any tide turning is a start so fingers crossed these people rise up because i'm seeing it happening um, look, I'm going to say goodbye there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm just really excited, guys. Oh. <clears throat> I hope you realise that was really genuine. The guys just made me so teary and sad because they were full of joy and uh, excitement and enthusiasm. And Oh my God. All right, I'll say goodbye from Australia. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit those bell notifications too so you know my videos pop up and the like buttons of course and i'll say goodbye from australia take care everybody have a wonderful day i'm gonna go and have a nice cup of tea because i just need it i need to calm myself down i'm so excited oh any win is a big win for us so take care and i'll talk to you tomorrow bye from australia bye